2020 is looking great for Funko and expensive for me. Hey, what's going on guys? You are watching UAM Collectibles. If this is your first time here and you enjoy Funko Pops, collectibles, Funko Pop hunts, mystery boxes, anime, all of this stuff, you are in the right spot. Hit that subscribe button and you can catch me every Tuesday and Thursday. Oh, so last week, last week was super, super awesome and busy for me. My oldest daughter, she had surgery, so I was dealing with that. And then a few days later, we had the 1000 subscriber giveaway live stream, went super well. And then the following day, lady might have had eye surgery. I'm, I'm late, sorry. You're gonna see this and it's gonna be later in the day. Yeah, I'm shooting it late, so sorry. <laughs> Been busy. So what we're gonna talk about today, New York Toy Fair. So many awesome things were announced. So a lot of the anime stuff had my name on it. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys what I think is gonna be hot and what I am definitely gonna grab. And another thing, if you already subscribed and you enjoy the channel and you enjoy watching me say silly things all the time, you can help support this channel and to help support me do silly things all the time. Super simple. In this description, I have a Teespring link that takes you to my Teespring store where you can pick up this awesome Ultra All Might's Collectibles t-shirt. So if you want to help support the channel, that's the best way to do it. Go buy a t-shirt, wear it, take a picture, tag me on Instagram. I'll share it around because I love that kind of stuff. All right, so let's get into this. Um, I usually go off the top, but uh, there's so much information and so much stuff that I think you guys need to know about from the New York Toy Fair that uh, I had to bring out my laptop. So we're gonna start off with uh, The Office, okay? I think that's gonna be super, super hot. Um, there are eight pops in total. Five of them are commons. Three are exclusives, and there's four keychains. The exclusives are GameStop and the Fungo Shop. Uh, it's like a Fungo Shop Dwight. And then the specialty series is Dwight also, and he's wearing like this Undertaker get up, Dark Lord get up. I don't watch The Office, so I really don't know what it is. But uh, that show is super hot, super popular. Everyone seems to be collecting the pops, except me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's gonna be super, super hot. So if you're a collector, here's what they look like. So plan out your purchases and get ready. Next on that list that I think is gonna be super hot is The Boys, the Amazon show. Uh, it's awesome. It's about superheroes and I don't wanna spoil anything, but uh, don't let your kids watch it. It's uh, a little violent. <laughs> But uh, that has eight commons with one glow chase. And the glow chase is Annie slash Starlight. I don't know what they're gonna name her, but uh, she has a glow chase. Also, there are two exclusives. One to Hot Topic and the other one to Amazon. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get those. I, I love the show. I love superhero concepts. I like to collect that kind of stuff. And this is gonna be an awesome set. The next that I think is gonna be super hot is uh, the Avengers video game. You cannot base this off of the comics or the movies, because if you are a gamer and you've looked at trailers for this, the game looks really good, but they look nothing like what you're used to the Avengers looking like. <laughs> so it looks like bootleg Avengers. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm just being honest. But this is gonna be a popular set. People love the Avengers, people love Marvel. And uh, there are seven commons with one glow in the dark chase, and that glow in the dark chase is Black Widow. Um, the four exclusives are at Target, Walmart, Amazon, and Best Buy. You can get a good look and see exactly where you need to get these guys. Next is one that I'm going to go after. It's the Pokemon set. So there are four regular commons and one 10 inch Mewtwo. That's right, a 10 inch Mewtwo. There's also been like a little leak. I don't know if it's confirmed or not, but it is a 10 inch Cubone. So I would definitely be going after these for sure. And next we're going to go into Marvel. So in Marvel, there are three pops coming out. One's a pop ride of Valkyrie on her little Pegasus. And then uh, we have Stan Lee from Ragnarok, from Thor Ragnarok. I, at first, I wasn't really wanting to get this because I already have a Stan Lee, I have the patina one. But uh, after getting a closer look at the glam, 
it's awesome. So I might uh, swap out my Stanleys. I'm gonna go after that, I think. Then we have the two exclusives. We have the Captain Universe Spider-Man. It is going to be exclusive to Entertainment Earth. I'm not too sure where that's from. I, I quit reading comic books a long, long time ago. But uh, yeah, it looks really cool. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Tell me everything you know about Captain Universe. And I don't know nothing. anything. Then we have the Pop in the Box exclusive, J. Jonah Jameson. The guy who always bashed Spider-Man in the comics and <laughs> in the movies and the video games. Every time you hear the guy with the mustache and the flat top, yeah, that guy. Then we go into Marvel Zombies. So you guys know I collect the symbiotes. So there's only one on this list that I want, thank the Lord. But uh, there are seven commons. Here they are. Here's the commons and the four exclusives. Um, and there's also going to be four keychains. The only one that I'm going to go after is the Zombie Venom. Glam looks cool. It's going to GameStop, so it should be an easy grab. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for that one. Okay, so this next one I think is a sleeper. Okay, there's a lot of people out there that collect this, but I don't think there's too much hype going around it right now. But it is the Looney Tune Pops, okay? Uh, there's three commons and one it looks to be an ex diamond exclusive uh, to Warner Brothers. I, I'm not sure. I don't have any other information than this little glam here. But uh, it looks like that sticker says Warner Brothers. So I don't know if you're going to be able to get this from like WarnerBrothers.com or what. But yeah, these I think are going to be the sleepers. Um, probably going to be hard to get. I, I, I'm not sure. I, don't, don't quote me, but that's just my prediction for top sleepers from New York Toy Fair. Then we go into the very first ever pop albums, Biggie Smalls. So uh, I grew up in the 90s, right? Whenever I was in uh, elementary, junior high, it was cool to listen to rap music, right? So I've listened to this album. I love this album. I'm probably not gonna get it. Probably not gonna get it. Uh, the, the, it comes in a protective case that's like this, right? And it's gonna be like this tall. The price point on it is really good. It's $14.99 retail. So that will be appealing to most, but space-wise, not gonna be very appealing. Um, I'm gonna pass on that, but I think it's gonna be really hot, for real. Now we're gonna talk about Harry Potter. So my wife, she collects Harry Potter. Lady Might loves Harry Potter. Um, there's two that were announced. One is the 19-inch Harry Potter. <laughs> she wants that to death. I kinda want it too, because I think that's gonna be really cool looking. Uh, he's holding the Hedwig, the little owl there. But uh, yeah, the price point on that is already $99. Um, maybe we can get lucky like with uh, Hot Topic when they did the 50% off any one item. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll get that lucky and we'll be able to grab this Harry Potter for like 50. But uh, yeah, that's on there. And then the movie moment with him and Voldemort doing their little wand battle. Uh, that looks pretty cool. I'm pretty sure she'll want that one too. All right, so let's get into my bread and butter. Um, let's get into anime. Oh, we'll start with what I don't know a lot about, uh, Saint Seiya, okay? I've never heard of this anime. If you watch my The Year of Anime 2020 video, and I'll link it right up here for you, uh, I mentioned Saint Seiya. So I don't know diddly squat about this anime, okay? I've never heard of it. Um, I, I feel kind of disappointed that I don't know about it because the pops looks really cool. Uh, here's Look at this glam. I mean, the detail on these things are really really good <laughs> uh, i'll have to maybe peep it out i think it's like an older anime but uh, anyways there's five commons and one glow in the dark exclusive to barnes and noble so yeah those look really cool i think they're going to be kind of popular because like i said 2020 is the year of anime and anime is on the rise right now um and then we'll go into inuyasha so uh there might be more but uh, what I found, there are three regular comments coming out, and one anime moment, and two exclusives. Those look pretty cool. Um, I think they're gonna be hot because people love Inuyasha. Then we have Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I didn't watch Yu-Gi-Oh. I know, there, here's another one I don't watch. Uh, it wasn't my style back in the day, but uh, people seem to love it. There are five comments and two exclusives, one going to GameStop and the other to Hot Topic, and it's gonna be a six inch. So yeah, I mean, they look really cool. Okay. Now, on to the very confusing one, uh, DBZ, okay? So, <laughs> I say it's confusing because when you look at this glam, you'll see a bunch of the same pops spread out throughout uh, 
uh, commons, the exclusives, and then the the Funimation exclusive. I'll get to that. But uh, there are six commons and eight exclusives, right? Uh, there's specialty series. There is a Funimation. It has the Chrome Beerus and the two pack of I believe I'm saying this right, Kale and Khalifa. Box Lunch has a glow in the dark Kale, and Chalice has a glow in the dark Kale with power up. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, that's, that's really confusing. And then, of course, GameStop is getting the Metallic Gohan. Uh, Hot Topic is getting the Flocked Champa. And then Galactic Toys is getting the last one on the list, which is the Glow in the Dark Weiss. Uh, Weiss was a very popular San Diego Comic Con Metallic. So, uh, that could be a really good one to get. I don't know. Am I bringing the price down on Metallic? Doubtful. But, uh, yeah. Very confusing. Because, like I said, there's commons of Kale and Khalifa, then there's a two-pack of Kale and Khalifa, and then there's a powering up Kale, and then a not powering up Kale, and they both glow in the dark. It's just all over the place. Now, the thing that I'm going to spend all of my money on are the My Hero Academia Wave 4 uh, and accessories. So, there are nine commons. Eight regular and one 10 inch All Might. And the 10 inch All Might is a different stance than the uh, arms on the hips. So I'm very, very excited for that. I'm gonna get all of the commons. Um, what am I talking about? I'm gonna get all of them regardless. Uh, there are four exclusives one to Galactic Toys, that's Midnight. Amazon is getting a Glow in the Dark Endeavor. GameStop is getting a Metallic uh, Mina. And Hot Topic is getting the translucent uh, Suyu Froppy. So that's really cool. And the good news is you can literally pre-order everything that I have told you today. Right now. If you go to HotTopic.com, you can pre-order the uh, Suyu. That's, that's new. Hot Topic is starting to do pre-orders now. It, it blows my mind. So I pre-ordered that. Uh, you can also pre-order the Galactic uh, Midnight. You can pre-order the Amazon right now. You can pre-order the GameStop Mina. You can pre-order everything that I have said today. You can go and pre-order it right now. So continue on with my hero. There's also mystery minis. I am so pumped about these. Like, I just bought the case of the Venomized mystery minis, and you can see that right here. So just opening those, I like felt hype every time I was going to open up one, and I just love that. So. I'm definitely going to get a case or two of these. There's going to be two waves, so there's going to be a non-exclusive box that just has all your commons and your uh, like chases and all this stuff. And then there's going to be the exact same box as that, but for Hot Topic, it's going to include three exclusives. The way mystery menus work, stores can get exclusives that only go into those boxes sold in these stores. So if you look here, you can see that there's one, there's one list that's only from the common box that will be sold everywhere that sells mystery minis. And then over here where you see Hot Topic exclusives, the bottom three there are exclusive to Hot Topic boxes only. So if you want those three, there's only three. If you want those three, you have to buy the Hot Topic boxes. So I'm excited for that. I'm gonna try to get a regular case and then I'm gonna try my luck at Hot Topic. Because, you know, like I said, you can pre-order these now. The only bad thing about getting them at Hot Topic is they are like $7.50 a piece at Hot Topic when they're $5 at GameStop. So, yeah, you're paying that extra for some exclusives, but it, it's worth it to me. I mean, I'm, ah. So, there are also a Pop Town. So, Deku at the Pop Town, the UA High School Pop Town, looks really cool. Uh, I don't really know how to display it um if you look i have like a pen oh you can't see it i have a pennywise and georgie in the gutter scene up here that's like the only movie moment that i have and the pop towns look a little bit bigger than that so don't really know where i'm going to display that but i'm gonna get it because i want it and then there are eight keychains and uh four writing pens and then they have the My Hero Academia and Sanrio mashup. Someone asked me in the live stream if I was going to get them all because I'm a completionist. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm just going to say it right now, no. Um, I feel like that's really not part of the My Hero Academia line. Uh, it's just like a mashup. I mean, I don't know. I, I just don't consider that a part of the line, so I'm not going to get the full set. I am going to get one though. I'm going to get the uh, probably the 
Hello Kitty Diamond from Hot Topic. But uh, there are six commons, three exclusives, one to Hot Topic, GameStop, and Box Lunch. The Hot Topic is getting the Hello Kitty All Might Glitter. The GameStop is getting the Metallic, I believe it's uh, Ochako Bunny. And then Box Lunch is getting the Todoroki Penguin that looks really stupid. That was a lot of stuff. <laughs> and like I said, I had to have the laptop because uh, there's no way I could have kept all that in the memory banks. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like what you saw today, hit that subscribe button. You know, I appreciate that. And if you're already a subscriber and you want to help support the channel, hit my description and uh, go check out my Teespring store. You can get some cool swag and shirts and socks and all kinds of stuff with this awesome logo on it. All right, so what are you most excited about? Leave me a message in the comments. I want to know. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Share me with your friends. And always remember, I'll catch you on the flip side.